First of three against the Mets and Zach Davies gets the baseball this afternoon after he was so impressive Bob against Tampa Bay last week. Three two coming and he lays off the sinker for ball four and so after getting behind two strikes Demo draws a lead off one. Well here is Pham and he can't be much hotter than Tommy is he's 13 for 22 over a six game hitting streak. Yes. What a snag by Walker got him the double play the gold glover Christian Walker. And just like that, there's two outs. Well, that couldn't have worked out any better. Line drive hit back to his left as Christian bounces off the bag. He makes a nice play and beats Nimmo back to the bag. That's a hang with him for yeah, Tommy Pham. Big old hang with him. Got him. There's the changeup from Davies. And Davies gave up a leadoff walk, then got a double play and a strikeout. No runs, nobody left. The starter for the Mets today is Max Scherzer. Scherzer's had three straight terrific starts after rediscovering his slider. And since leaving Arizona in 2009, Scherzer has dominated the team he started with. Back in the starting lineup, Corbin Carroll headed to his first All-Star game in his native Seattle week from today. Corbin sends this out to Pham. It's carrying over his head and gone. Happy Fourth of July, Corbin Carroll. It's one nothing Diamondbacks. Boy, when he hits the ball the other way, it just has tremendous carry on it, and that's gone for number 18 on the year. Alvarez just two hits in his last 25 at bats, trying to get his bat restarted. He taps that one to Nick Ahmed at shortstop. Plenty of time to get Alvarez running down the line and one out in the inning. Swain, a hot shot hit through the right side, a base hit. And a one-out single for Brett. Second hit today for the Mets. Walker's got it. Ahmed for one. And two. Second double play in the first three innings for the Diamondbacks, who are one of the best defensive teams in baseball, and they've showed it so far today. Second straight time he's been behind three and one, and this time Davies misses high ball four, and Lindor's on with Davies second walk. Here's Pete Alonso. Lindor is off first. And Davies has struggled with runners on base so he's had trouble pitching out of the stretch. This is his 12th batter and already his sixth three ball count. Lindor on the move again. Swing and a miss. Carson's throw a little offline and Lindor's in there. As Alonso strikes out for out number two. So the tying run in scoring position with two down. Here's McNeil. Tap to the left of the mound. Tough play for Ahmed. And his throw is too late to get McNeil, who has himself an infield hit. So now first and third two out. Here's Marte, who had a base hit to center field his first time up. Marte 12 for 31 against Davies. That's a 387 clip. One two coming to Marte. And he drives one in the air to deep left field. Back goes Carroll near the wall. It's out of here. Starting Marte with a three run homer to put the Mets in front. And the Mets turn that game around. Marte with a three run homer against a pitcher against whom he's had success and Marte makes it all pay off. So both first basemen with a couple of really impressive plays. And now Walker at the plate. Christian hammers it to center field. Christian Walker with some fourth of July fireworks. Way out of here. Oh that thing was clunk. Ooh, boy was it ever. Is 17th, and it's a one run game. I mean, Tommy Pham in left field never moved. Diamondbacks have had only two hits against Max Scherzer, both home run. Guriel trying to get in on the act. Left field, way back, and we're tied. Back to back off Max Scherzer, and it's 3 3. The 14th for the All Stars. And Lourdes has been struggling a little bit until the last couple of days, and he's figured it out again. Well, that's answering back fast. We're tied at three in game one of a three game set. So two up and two down here in the fifth. And now Brandon Nimmo. And Nimmo drives one deep right field. Back goes McCarthy. Got turned around and it's out of here. The Mets go back in front with another home run by Nimmo. Well, Scherzer had a two run lead going to the bottom of the fourth. Gave a back to back home runs to Walker and Goriel. Now he's got a 4 3 lead. Neal at second can't make the play Thomas is aboard and Perdomo works a walk and there are two on and two out for McCarthy up the middle and Lindor tackles it throw to first not in time they're loaded and Corbin Carroll's coming up McCarthy beats it up that line and now Scherzer who was cruising until the fourth is trying to make it through the fifth Corbin Carroll homer against him in the first he walked in the tying run. This all started with two out and nobody on. Two infield singles and two walks. 
have produced a run to tie the game. Now he faces Christian Walker, who hit one 449 feet for his 17th home run his last time up. And he struck oh. him out. He went right back to the changeup to strike out Walker and end the inning. But the damage done all with two outs for Arizona. Scherzer threw 33 pitches in the fifth inning. That's that action going in the bullpen during that fifth, but Scherzer back for more. Another chance for Lindor. So Scherzer goes out there for an additional inning and throws a 1 2 3 with a strikeout and two ground outs after six tied at four. Now Vogelback, who's 0 for 2 today, hitless in his last 11 at bats. It's outside ball four. So in a 3 2 changeup, Castro walks Vogelback, and the Mets have the go ahead run on base. One away, runner at first base. 4 4 game, top of the seven. Here's Alvarez, 0 for 2 today. Pitch. And Alvarez launches one deep left center. Forget that. That is way out of here. Oh, wow. A monstrous home run by Francisco Alvarez to put the Mets back in front. Six to four, New York. Alvarez with his 14th home run, more than any rookie catcher in Mets history, and that one was worth the price of admission. So it really has just been outstanding since coming off the IL on May 14th. Behind his first hitter, 3 0. And that'll work, a leadoff lock. Ball four to Longoria. So a couple of walks issued by Brooks Raley here in the seventh. And now he's got to face Corbin Carroll with two men on. And Carroll pulls one on the ground to Alonzo. Raley late to cover. Close play, and he's out. And Raley able to strand a couple in the seventh. Mm. So a hit batsman and two walks have filled the base with one out. And now DJ Stewart will get his first plate appearance as a Met with a chance to do some serious damage. Boy. And he drives this one out to right. This one's in the ballpark. Oh. Carroll is there. Tagging at third is Lindor. He's heading for the plate, and he'll score easily. Over to third goes McNeil. So Stewart delivers a sacrifice fly, and the Mets now have a three-run lead at 7-4. to four. Brett Beatty leads off in the top of the ninth against Jose Ruiz. And it's lined the other way, and Beatty's got his second hit of the day. That's the last. Oh, that kicks away from Kelly, and down to second base goes Beatty on the wild pitch. Chopped to the left side, runner will advance, grabbed by Rivera, and the throw to first in time to get Pham, two out. Beatty moves to third, but now they're two away. That's driven down the right field line by Lindor, and that'll be extra bases into the corner. Beatty's in to score, Lindor heads to second. He's got an RBI double, his 56th run batted in, and now it's 8-4 to four New York. So Mets take their 8-4 lead to the bottom of the ninth inning trying to take game one of the series and trying to put the finishing touches on a third consecutive victory. And Nick drops one into center. A good start to the ninth. All right. Yeah. Fletcher works a two-on walk and a chance now for Corbin. And that necessitates Robertson's entry into the game. And Corbin sends one out to left. That'll get down for a hit. And here comes Walker as the tying run. He hit a long home run out to center in the fourth inning off Max Scherzer. He's walked in a run. It's eight to five. And here comes Gurriel as the winning run at the plate. I wonder if he was fully ready mentally to come into this game. They stayed away from him. He was not throwing when the inning began. He got up with a runner at first base. And now pressed into service and trying to get one last out. On the ground, Lindor to his left. He's got it. The flip for the force play, and the ball game is over. The Mets bullpen bends but does not break. And the Mets hang on to defeat the Diamondbacks 8-5 to for their third straight win.